Finding this 2,300 square foot bungalow was no small feat when Jamie and Greg went looking seven years ago. It took two years to find this house. Because of me, because I have a list of things that I needed in a house, and this house had all those things. It was one story, had the wood-burning fireplace, had a nice established neighborhood with the trees, and down the street from our parents. I just love this house. And while they both loved it when they moved in, five years and two children later, Greg and Jamie no longer see this house the same way. When we first moved here, we had one kid. This house worked. And now, with two kids, it's just not working for me. Two kids is not that big of a deal. I'm a stay-at-home dad. Bye. Bye. And I love it. I take pride in it. But being at home with the kids just really shows me how much this house does not work. I got to cook. I got to clean. Got to feed the kids. It's a lot. I need a house that is easier to live in. Greg knows how particular I am. I can't believe he wants to even consider leaving this house. Well, I'd much rather do it now than have to do it later. He's just asking for trouble. As much trouble as finding a new house might be, for Greg, it's easier than trying to juggle two kids in a dysfunctional home. You know, the main area of the house, it looks like it's open, but when I'm trying to run back and forth and get things done, that wall is just in the way. We take down the wall, and oh my goodness, there are the kids. But it's not just the wall that has Greg hating this space. The kitchen is a disaster. You can't open the dishwasher and the refrigerator at the same time. Half of the cabinets don't close. I'm done. My favorite place in the whole house is the nook, which is the little part of the kitchen that I have two seats. And while Greg is cooking, I sit in one, and we just have family time. Jamie's in love with a nook. Don't you think we can find another nook in another house? This is crazy. And the crazy continues when Greg needs to do the laundry. Ah. The laundry room, it's not really a laundry room. It's kind of like tucked away in a little corner of the hallway. But it's actually in a great spot because it's off the hall, and you can just put a door there. And now you have a room. You can't just zippity do a door right there. <laughs> well, you can. <laughs> but somebody can. There's three bathrooms in this house, and all of them need work. Aren't you completely embarrassed having our guests use that half bathroom? Because I am. Just needs a little updating. A little and we dating. have two other bathrooms. The main bathroom that the kids use, it's got its share of problems, too. Mustard orange tile, for starters. The tub is old, has stains in it. It's just a mess. But again, that's an easy fix. That master bathroom is a joke. It's kind of like a water closet. We can't get into the bathroom at the same time. I mean, I need to take a shower. I need to brush my teeth. OK, you sound like Abby now. You can't tell me that the master bath doesn't drive you crazy. Yeah, OK, so it drives me crazy. But I think we just need to find somebody that can fix it. Designer Hillary will reimagine their home into the functional, family-friendly space Greg so desperately needs. While realtor David will prove to Jamie that she can find hassle-free happiness elsewhere during the search for a new home. Before setting foot in the house, the two experts have an appointment to meet up and review the couple's must-haves to stay or sell. Must-haves to list it. Four good-sized bedrooms, three bathrooms, open concept floor plan, updated kitchen, laundry room, a music room for Greg, and a family-friendly neighborhood. Here's my must-haves to love it. Open up and renovate kitchen and family room. Resize kids' bedrooms. Yep. Update main bathroom, renovate powder room, enlarge and update master bath, and create a dedicated laundry room. You know, that's that's a lot of work. Yeah. Why did they buy this house anyways? Well, I don't know, but if this took them two <laughs> years, I don't know what the hell you're going to find them. Let's I'm go. I'm faster, trust me. <laughs> took them two years to find this house? There's nothing wrong with this. When you say somebody took two years to find a house, you anticipate it's going to be mind-blowing. Well, we only just walked in. Let's go. You did that hand movement like, here it is. <laughs> Look how amazing it is. And I'm going, no. <laughs> no, anyway, it is a great space. Which leads to a toy room. How much sense does that make? It's oh, brilliant. Boy. You want a toy room. What? Look at this kitchen. It's horrible. It's not horrible. It's... Uh, excuse me. They it's... asked you to gut it and redo it. Um, and that's what I'm going to do. And while you're at it, get rid of these floors. That was not on my list. David doesn't like laminate. Really? Well, I didn't get David's list. You're going to get it soon. Let's go. Oh, uh, good. More of that floor David doesn't like. And I'm not too crazy about this either. Can you do something about this? You know what? You're just trying to deflect attention from fantastic room, beautiful access, gorgeous deck, gorgeous backyard. I'm not trying to deflect anything. I just know that I'm the guy that has to sell it. I don't see how I can lose this one. I don't believe for a second that David is as down on this house as he pretends. I'm going to be showing them turnkey houses. Their real bonus? 
I don't have to stick to their neighborhood, which means world's my oyster. When I have finished renovating, upgrading, this house will have gone from really, really, really nice to perfect. Hillary and David meet up with Greg and Jamie to find out what kind of budgets they'll be working with. Greg, I completely understand why you want out of that house, because almost every square inch needs attending to. It needs a little work. Not a little work. It's it a needs a work. lot of work. Now, I've done an evaluation on your home, and the current value is two fifty. dollars Yeah, a little low from what I was thinking, but... What is the budget for the new house? $350,000. That's a reasonable budget. That is going to go a long way to really finding you a fantastic house. But remember, it took me two years to find the house that we live in. So you either had a bad agent or you're extremely picky. I'm extremely picky. She is picky. That's OK. I deal with picky people all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so, Greg, I know you think you need a new house. This doesn't function well for us. And that's why I'm here. How much money do I have to spend? 110000 that's really great budget. Having said that, I'm just hoping that nothing horrible comes up to bite us. Fine. <laughs> with you at the helm, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> David takes his $350,000 house hunting budget and is out the door in search of the perfect place that will make Jamie move. While back at the house, Hillary's team immediately gets to work, tearing down the obtrusive wall between the kitchen and family room. Meanwhile, in the interest of making mornings so much easier, the master bathroom vanity and toilet are ripped out, and the tiny tile shower is painstakingly chipped away. While the past is meticulously cleared out at home, Greg and Jamie are a few neighborhoods away where David is hoping he's found the house that can set this family up for the future. At 2,500 square feet, this two-story house is undeniably larger than theirs and features four bedrooms and three bathrooms, including a spacious master bath. To help keep the kids within sight, there's an open-concept kitchen and family room. Greg gets a spacious music room, while Jamie gets an office. David has taken them well outside their neighborhood to show them how far their money will go. But will it go far enough for the famously picky Jamie? OK, come on in. Wow, this is nice. This is a brand new house. I like that our house is an older house. It has character. And issues. That Hillary's going to fix. Not all of them. Right here, you have a perfect office area. Or playroom. All right, so we move into the dining room. You've got beautiful wainscoting. That's character, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's a little small. What do you think? It's a good size. You don't just have a dining room, though. You've got an eat-in kitchen. Whoa, look at this kitchen. I love it. And it opens up to the family room, which is one of the complaints you have about yours. That doesn't look like a wood-burning fireplace. You didn't ask for a wood-burning fireplace. Where's my nook? Your nook. Yeah. You've got two big, beautiful windows over there. You throw a couple of chairs in front of there, and there's your nook. That's the yard? That's the yard here. I'm just going to need a bigger yard. <laughs> now, a laundry room wow. for you guys. You're not going to get much better than this from Hillary. I can guarantee you that. OK, let's head upstairs. Upstairs? I don't want there to be stairs. Why don't you want there to be stairs? I don't want to have to go up and down when I'm old. You didn't ask for a one-story house. Just add that to your list. Oh, OK. The master bedroom. It's a good size room. Look at the neighbors. They are right there. Put some blinds, some blinds. up and you won't see them. Greg, this is Whoa. going to be your music space. This is awesome. Yeah, I'd like some of this space in that part. No, you want it where it is, over top of the garage, because it allows him to make as much noise as he wants and not disturb anybody. I like it. <laughs> well, Greg's I'm happy. Too. <laughs> what do you think this house is listed at? 300,000. 360. This house is listed at 325. It isn't working. We are moving on. With my new list? With the new list. Let's go. Eric and the boys are erasing any memory of Greg's former music space by knocking down the wall to expand the master bathroom. While the dust continues to fly at their house, Greg and Jamie are once again a few neighborhoods away, where David is anxious to show them a home he thinks can actually live up to Jamie's lofty expectations. You've got almost an acre of land here. That's awesome. The kids would love this. At 2,500 square feet, this bungalow is 200 square feet larger than their current home and features three bedrooms, three bathrooms, including a spacious master bath, and a large open concept kitchen family room combination, complete with Jamie's coveted nook. Also included are a dedicated laundry room and a separated music space for Greg, all in a family-friendly neighborhood with an expansive yard. Come on in. It's nice. It is a bungalow. 
Okay. So let's move on. Bedroom number one, which is pretty much the same size as bedroom number two for your kids, so no one's gonna be arguing That's about who's got want. the better room. It's not what Abby has now, but it's a, no. it's a fine room. Good, let's go see the bathroom. Bathroom number one of three in this house. This is miles better than what we have. I still have faith in Hillary, but this is a nice bathroom. I'll give you that. Now, here you have the dining room. I think it was bigger than the last one we saw, too. This is good. It gets better. Let's hit the kitchen. Wow, look at this kitchen. I like this. Not to mention the open concept plan you're getting, which is something you wanted. Really got good sight lines for the kids here. And you got a fireplace. But that's not a wood-burning fireplace. No, it's not, but it's a fireplace. I'm noticing a little nook over here, too. Here's your nook. I did not think you were going to find me a nook. It sounds to me like this house is almost perfect so far. Almost. Let's go. And here you have the master bedroom. I like it. It's huge. I feel like I'm cheating on my house right now. Well, it's better than cheating on your husband. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah <just straight. laughs> And here you have a big, beautiful backyard. This is nice. What do you think this house is listed at? 310. What do you think? 340. This house is listed at 380. Wow. Sure, I think this house is perfect. Quite. It's just a little bit out of our price range. We're going to keep looking. OK. See if I can find an even more perfect house, if that's possible. Having glanced perfection once, David dives back into the listings, praying he can do it again. Getting Greg to embrace his once dysfunctional bungalow means Hillary has had to shift her priorities to creating a space for him to rock out. The existing garage storage space is torn down, and new framing is added to make a more roomy jam space for Greg. The large island is installed in the center of the newly opened kitchen, and as the rest of the new cabinetry is finished, it's clear the function of this kitchen has been vastly improved. Meanwhile, in the newly expanded master bathroom, the tile for the new shower is going in. Next door, installers are working on a built-in cabinet that's going to double the usefulness of this recently reduced space. Not far away, David hopes he's finally found the right balance of everything it will take to please Jamie. I see you brought William with you. Yes. At 2,100 square feet, this house is smaller than theirs, but features four bedrooms, three bathrooms, including a master bathroom, an open concept entertaining space, a separate laundry room, a music room for Greg, and is located just minutes from their current home. After such an exhausting house hunt, could this finally be the one? Welcome to house number 653. <laughs> We're in your neighborhood. I like that. I like this mm -hmm. big ceiling here. William, anything? He's keeping his opinion to himself for now. Good, yeah. I like that. Bedroom number one of three. This would probably be William's bedroom. It is kind of small. William, do you like this bedroom? Yes. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> bathroom number one. It looks like it needs a little work. You know, our bathrooms aren't getting done, so it's almost even. Bedroom number two. Now, in terms of sizing. Yeah, about the same. So you have no issues with somebody having a bigger bedroom. Yeah. OK, we are heading to the backyard. Yes, I know it's not a wood burning fireplace. <laughs> Beautiful backyard for your kids to run around in. It's great. What do you think, Greg? I like it. Let's head back inside. Here you have the eat-in kitchen. It's a little dated. Yeah, I'm not really feeling this kitchen. And it's not open concept. You could take that wall down, and then you'd have the sight lines that you want. I don't want to have to do renovation again. But let's not forget how many houses we have been through. In terms of finding you everything you want for the budget you've given me, it's just not going to happen. We did give Hillary some extra money. Why? So she could do the floors. Now you didn't give me more money. Well, I know. I don't want to put money into a house that isn't mine. It could be ours. Exactly. Yeah, well, this kitchen definitely doesn't work. We've been through the house. Yes. What do you think? The sight lines aren't there for the kitchen. This house is just not going to work. What do you think this house is listed at? 330. What do you think? 345. This house is listed at 300,000. Oh, wow. Oh. Which is $50,000 below the top end of your budget, which means you could put that money back into the house. The whole point of us doing this is to have a house that was ready to go. I showed you a house that was ready to go. Yes, it was $30,000 over your budget. But now that I find out, one, you've given Hillary more money, and two, you're still going to be left with work to do once you go back to your house. Right. What's 30000 And that's before you negotiate. I do like that house. 
Well, good. Then it sounds like that is an option. Yeah, it is. It's it took an us option. Fifty houses to get there. When I knew back then that it was the perfect one. Well, at least it wasn't two years. <laughs> David's latest listing brought enough perspective to throw the focus back to a house that Jamie couldn't help but love. With that brand new bungalow once again fresh in their minds, the two of them head home, where at long last they get to tour their own house. Now that Hillary's extensive renovations are finally complete. It's time to decide: Will they love it or list it? How are you? We're excited. We're excited to see the place. Let's go again. Okay. Ooh, I love the floors. The floors. Floor. Love it. And it came all the way through. Pretty cool, huh? Awesome. Come on oh, wow. in. Wow. Gosh. This is now going to be your sometime guest room, mm -hmm. right? And this is how easy it is. One. Two, three. Oh wow! Look at that. And Gosh. it's just your office. It's yeah. Perfect. I Pretty love cool. it. Good. Oh wow! So now you've got a laundry room. Yeah. yeah it's great. It's so pretty. Yeah. I love it. Okay. So far, so good. So now, so good. Nice. It is nicer than I even imagined. Love that. I mean, that shower is huge. Isn't that fabulous? I love the tile. And you've got those nice sconces. Oh, Two sinks, which is wonderful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So in there, you've got your water closet. Oh. Again, that makes it work for two people. Yeah, this is amazing. Unbelievable. Oh, wow. Oh. In you go. Whoa. This doesn't even look like our house It anymore. doesn't. Oh, I just love it. It is so beautiful. I feel like I could cry. <laughs> you can cry. Your fireplace we painted out, which looks so I much better. I love it. Great sitting area, entertaining, sitting around with the kids. It's very nice. Oh, my gosh. The kitchen of just about anyone's dreams. It is. This is wonderful. I don't even know what to say. This is quartz. It's oversized. There's an awful lot of storage within it. Beautiful new fridge. Gas range. This is the real change. Now that the war is down, it gives you what you needed, which is this area connecting. Love this it. This is nice. And then here is your look. Oh, I love it. Can I go sit in it? Please. Wow, it's a comfy it chair. so nice. So everything is great, except I think we're missing one room. I have a feeling you've got something up your sleeve. Oh, yes. Look at this. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. Wow. This I is love awesome. these floors. You have a unit right there that will heat in the winter and it will cool in the summer. I was not expecting this. The children can be sleeping and you can be jamming. This is awesome. Listen, I will fully admit this looks fantastic. I know. It's beautiful. But the house we looked at didn't need any work and it was brand new. New. Now, before you make your decision, I have one more listing to show you, and it's yours. That is the current value of your oh, home. Oh, wow. gosh. With the renovation that has been done. The pre-renovation value of their home was $250,000. With an expanded renovation budget of $115,000, the new estimated value of their home is $390,000. That increases the value of their house by $140,000. So we've made a decision. And are you going to love it? Or are you going to list it? Love it. A turnkey house. Move in ready. It wasn't an easy decision, but Hillary did pretty much what we needed. We got the sight lines done. And granted, not everything's done, but we can do those down the line. And we just feel like this house would just work the best for our family. Yeah, and it's just home.